In this video, I'm going to be doing the final installations uh, to put uh, everything together, basically, at its final destination. Um, I had already done a few things. I've collected some spice bottles. I just wanted to see how they fit, so I put them in there. I put in four wheels uh, under this cabinet. Um, I already showed you the steel drawer that I put in. Um, apart from the wooden drawers that I built and put in in the last video. Uh, here I put in a couple of uh, steel plates basically. I glued them in, that's why I have a couple of weights uh, to dry the glue. This is the plate that I used. It's called a mending plate, zinc plates, zinc plated. Um, got this from Home Depot. This is basically uh, for me to slide in and out that gas cylinder, the propane cylinder, so that it doesn't damage the bottom of the, the floor of the cabinet so much. Um, these are uh, called leveling or uh, sort of lifting leveler. I got this from Rockler. Uh, basically, I don't want my cabinets to just sit on the uh, on the on the floor outdoors because it's just going to uh, start rotting faster uh, from underneath. So I'm going to raise it up by using these uh, lifting levelers. So I was hoping to use only four of them, but I think I might have to use eight or so. Um, but let me see. But I'm going to be using this and just basically lift this whole system up about, uh, about an inch above the ground. So the only thing that is important at this stage is to tie up the cabinets together, basically screw them all together. And there are two, two sets of places where I need to screw the, screw the cabinets generally. First, I have to screw all the cabinets and tie them up, uh, the cabinets together, side by side. I need to screw them all. And uh, it's not true in my case, but generally, if this is a sort of a wall cabinet, you need another set of screws that will screw in into the wall itself, the studs in the wall. But I don't have that. But in case I had needed to do that, I have my backing. This backing was built as three quarter inch uh, plywood. That's where I would screw it in into the wood. But I don't need to do that, like I said. Uh, all I need to do right now is screw the cabinets together, these three cabinets together. And that's what I'm going to be talking about a little bit in detail. So in order to screw things in, we, I have a few options. I can just use the regular wood screw like this. Uh, or it's better, I think, to get cabinet-specific screws. GRK uh, sells these cabinet screws. They look something like this. Basically, the, the point is that when we screw things together, we don't want to see ugly screws, exposed screws. So if we do see screws, it has to be, you know, at least... Two. Um, uh, it shouldn't look out of place or ugly or uh, obvious basically. So these are screws, these are flathead nicer screws for cabinets. They come in different sizes. What's my favorite and what I'm going to use are these uh, fast cap uh, screws. Uh, the reason for that is that these come with fast cap head. These are actually wood pieces uh, that I can put on top of the head of the screw to basically hide the screw um, from, from visibility. So these are my favorite. I think this is the way. This is the. This is what I'm going to be using to uh, fasten the cabinets together. Now, before I fasten, all I have to do is make sure that the cabinets are all together, to my liking, and I'm going to clamp them at various places to make sure that they're all clamped together, especially on the top and um, on the side over here, the front. Make sure everything is um, level with each other. Um, and then once I clamp everything together, all I got to do is just screw them in with the fast cap at different places. Here's how it looks when the lifting leveler is uh, installed. I had to put in a little shim to make it fit pro properly. I put two in the middle, two on the side. So here's all the pieces. I took it out in the intended area and put them together. Put the granite or granite top in on both sides. This was from leftover granite from a shop. A couple of holes here, one for the faucet, one for the gas pipe. The propane tank pipe, put the sink in, 
uh, by the way I use silicone sealant the cork that we get uh, regular cork something like this this kind of cork basically that's used for window door siding and trim that's what I used to seal all the sink in and got a black cork to get this gap sealed in this piece has wheels underneath that I put in that can be locked and this piece inside looks something like this I filled up some of the spices here over here a couple of drawers utensils and some other stuff again the propane tank as planned is hidden here and behind you see all the contraptions you see all the contraptions for the um, the hose coming in that goes into the sink and also the gas pipe going in drawer here there's a little space over here for I don't know what I'll keep here yet I got the door knobs from Home Depot and used this jig the Craig cabinet hardware jig to put those on I'm not going to go over the details of how to use it there's enough instructions available online but that's what I used for these kind of door knobs just basically put it here and drill hole and it's pretty easy it took me one minute this as intended is uh, comes out turns so I can put it in or take it out it's almost like an island basically like a kitchen island so that's it that's the finished project really um, I think maybe one closing thought I would have is uh, I don't know how long these doors will last uh, outdoors um, the wood this is not plywood this is solid wood it has it has a tendency to bend uh, over time so I'm not sure only time will tell but if I had to redo these doors I would probably go 100% plywood on these um, instead of shaker but that's for later but overall I'm uh, done with this project and thanks for watching this video and following all the other 20 videos that I put before um, appreciate your support